Hello. In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to create a dynamic distribution group within Exchange 2010. You'll notice I've already launched my Exchange Management Console and I've also expanded Recipient Configuration and then I need to highlight Distribution Group. From here, over in the right hand action pane, I can select New Dynamic Distribution Group. This launches the new dynamic distribution group wizard. On the first page, I am going to select to specify the organizational unit rather than using a default one. I'll click the browse button and select BK Mail Test OU. If I didn't do this, this group would exist in the default container, which is the users container. Additionally, I need to give my dynamic distribution group a name. So I'm going to call it Minnesota, and I'm also going to type Minnesota as the alias. I'll then click on next, and then I have to identify my filter settings. By default, I will include all recipient types. If I want only specific types, I can move the bullet point and then choose users with exchange mailboxes, users with external email addresses, resource mailboxes, contacts with external email addresses, and mail enabled groups. For now, I'd like all recipient types, and then I'll click next. I now need to define the condition, and the condition is what's going to actually populate and build this dynamic distribution group. And I'm gonna select recipient is in a state or province as step one, and then in step two, I'm going to specify the state is Minnesota. So I click the specified link and now I'm going to type Minnesota and click add and click OK. And this is going to take the information off of the Active Directory user account. Now there's very few options that exist in Exchange 2010 for dynamic distribution groups. State or province is one of them. Department is one of them, or company is another one of them. From here, there are additional custom attributes, 15 of them in total, that you can define on the general tab of a user account in Active Directory, and then those will match up to custom attribute one, etc., on a dynamic distribution group. The field is a lot smaller than what it used to be in Exchange 2003. But for now, Let's make a condition based on state or province, and the state will be Minnesota. And then we'll click on Next, and we have a summary page, and we'll click on New, and the dynamic distribution group is created. And as always, here are some Exchange Management Shell commandlets that you could use to create this group in an Exchange Management Shell. So then we'll click Finish, and we have now created a dynamic distribution group in Exchange 2010. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thanks for watching.